Okay, so this estimation question, um, I'll go through the first part, which is a concept of estimation that you need to know. All right, number one. Now, when you see this word estimation, okay, estimation means you can not just key the whole thing into a calculator. There's a difference between estimation and evaluate. So in this case, it's estimate. Estimate correct to how many significant figure? One significant figure. So if this question wants you to do to one significant figure, right? In your working, right, you must do to two SF first. Then after that, you can round off to one SF. So how does the working look like? It will look like this. So A, you have to write down, make it a good practice to always write down your question. And when you write down your question, please, Make sure you write it correctly. A lot of students plus, write until minus, you know, and then that's where the carelessness comes in. Okay, so 4.45, no ink, 32 times 2.008. Okay, so now the first number 9.038 is how many significant figure? It's four significant figure. So the estimation in the working we have to do the two significant figure first. So it will be 9.0, okay? Times two significant figure for this is 27 over 4.5 times 2.0. You got to make sure that you write the zero because this zero after a digit is always significant okay so after you have this now you can key into your calculator 9 times 27 okay divide by 4.5 times 2 all right and you will get 27 which is a two significant figure value then now you have to say that approximate to 30 and this is how we do estimation question Okay, so remember, if the question asks for one significant figure, you always have to do two significant figure first before going back to one. If the question asks for three significant figure, then you have to do four significant figure first before going back to three significant figure, okay, as your answer, right? So the second part of the question is use the results above to estimate. So what I have is, now, 90, no, sorry. Okay, 90.38 times 0 0.26901 over 4453.2 times 0 0.2008. So, okay, so first is I look at the question. The question gave me the first part I did is 9.038. So, 9, how is 90.38 related to 9.038? So, it's equals to 9.038 times 10. Alright, the next one would be times 20. Okay, 0 0.6, 0 0.626901, which is this guy. Okay, how is it? Is, 2.26 sorry point nine zero one divide by divide by how many one two divide by one hundred okay one two yes all right then you get over okay same thing four thousand four hundred fifty three is equals to four point four five three two times one thousand one two three two one thousand and zero point this is two point zero zero eight divide by ten okay so basically the meaning of the word equal here okay equal here means whatever is on the left side and whatever is on the right side must be the same okay whatever it's on the left side and whatever is on the right side must be the same okay so this is what i did um for the 4453 is equal to four point this one times 1000 and then this one and this one they are the same okay now the next thing is because 
when you multiply, multiplication is commutative. What does the word commutative mean? It means 2 times 3 and 3 times 2. They are the same. Okay, so it doesn't matter the order. So I can rearrange them. 9.038. Uh, times 26.901 times 10 then divide by 100 okay over 4.4532 times so I rearrange them to the first part of my equation now I have to write everything to make sure that because equal means they have to be the same Okay, so question, what is this part equals to? Okay, so in your first part, they already asked you to estimate this value. This value that we estimated at top is equals to 30. Okay, 30. Here, yeah, so this is equals to 30. Okay, then times, use your calculator to do this. Okay, 10 divide by 100 okay then divide by 1000 divide by 10 all right and this is equals to 0 0.001 and that is the answer times 30 and you get 0 0.03 Three. Okay, so this is a more advanced kind of question where they ask you to make use of part A which you have estimated to do part B. So the you have to relate the numbers together like for example over here you can see that 90.38 and 9 point this they are related so but because of the virtue of equal sign you have to say that this and this are equal this and this are equal okay so and for the third part Okay, for the third part. Okay, and third part is a, also an advanced question using as much information below. Okay, now, so why do they give us over here, why do they give us two pieces of information? Now, of these two pieces of information, right, probably only one piece can be used, all right? So how do I know? It's because, I, of course, I did a lot of this with my students before. 365 okay equals to now question what you know how is 0 0.0365 here related to all these numbers so you know that there are multiples there are multiples of there are 10 times uh, or rather there are 1000 10 times uh, or rather a thousand times or a 10,000 times of 0 0.0365 okay so which one do we choose we don't know okay so maybe we can choose the first one so basically 0 0.0365 right is the same as 365 right okay divide by uh, make sure this covers the whole thing yeah uh. one two three four okay one two three four one one two three four okay so it's the it's the same whatever you do in your mathematical working they must be the same okay so now question is if this covers both of them it means that it covers over cube root of 10,000 okay now would you be able to cube root 10,000 so use your calculator and then try to cube root 10,000 what do you get you you cannot cube root 10,000 nicely okay so you realize that okay ten, this one is out so which means this whole working is not doable already so let's do it again okay let's do it again uh, using okay over at this side all right again our starting position is 0 0.0365 and this is equals to cube root of now just now I've, I have used this one which is out already so I now I have to use 36.5 divide by so 0 0.0365 is 36 0.5 divide by how many so you uh, use your calculator to work it out all right you realize that is divide by 1000 okay actually how do I know I move this one two and three okay I move this all right so this is equals to cube root of 36.5 
over cube root of 1000 1000 1000 can't get to write the zero okay here okay zero 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 okay and you realize that hey hey can I square can I cube root this? Can I cube root 1000? So use your calculator again, cube root of 1000 equals to 10. Alright, so that's how you get... Alright, denominator, cube root of 1000 is equal to 10 and the numerator, um, cube root of 36.5 is equal to 3.32. Okay, and then you have your answer 0.33. Okay, so again, this is also an advanced question. Now, this kind, of, this kind of question is very common that they give you two choices to choose. Um, you can choose one of the choices and make sure that when you are able to... So this question is cube root. Sometimes it may be a square root kind of question. When you square root the, the multiple of 10, which is um, 10,000 10, or 1,000, make sure it gives you a nice number. If it doesn't give you a nice number, it's like part one, it does not work. So you have to go to you have to use the other option to try and get it, alright?